the last of it. I don't like knowing Thanos' body is out there somewhere. Oh, one thing at a time. Okay, we have to figure out how this relic works before we start worrying about the dead guy. We're running a scan of her cybernetics, but it's taking some extra time. Just to be safe. We need to get Nebula to help us decipher these symbols. Just watch yourself, Peter. She's not exactly happy to be here. Okay, she's definitely not happy to be here. Good thing she's unarmed. Am I right? <laughs> Rocket may be able to get her arm working again. We could use it as leverage. <laughs> Don't bother. We are going to dismantle this cyborg piece by piece. Fear won't work on someone like Nebula. You'll just rile her up. <laughs> good. Not good. She was trained to slaughter thousands. She may hate you, but she does not fear you. Hey, no need for violence here. We can barter with her. Nebula wants her arm back, so let's use that to our advantage. I do not like this plan. You okay to go in there? I... I can't even begin to process everything. I thought I could distance myself. You told me to distance myself. And now Nebula's locked up in my bedroom? <sighs> the irony doesn't escape me. So, here's the deal, Nebula. You've got a bit of a missing arm problem, and I've got a way to fix that. So, you interested in a trade? I'm listening. Thanos wanted this relic. And I know he had you learn how to read these glyphs. That, that's the Eternity Forge. You've heard of it? How did you make those runes appear? I thought it didn't work. I don't know. That's what you're here for. Oh, really? I need you to help me translate them. That's not gonna happen. You think I'd so easily betray my father? We are not all so spineless. I was serious about this. Look. You help me with this one teensy tiny little thing, and I will let Rocket reattach your arm. I know you have no intention of helping me. She wants to see me suffer. Killing our father wasn't enough for you. You have to rub it in my face, too. He raised you, Gamora. He loved you. That was not love, Nebula. And you let this imbecile murder him! You are the reason he's gone. You're the one who ruined my life. Whoa, this is a happy place. There's no need for that kind of name calling. Really? Imbecile? Oh, sorry I hurt your delicate little feelings. That's enough, Nebula! You pass judgment on me. On my father. But I know you, Gamora. You may have forgotten Tarval, but I haven't. I'm warning you never, never to speak the name! Tarval, Tarval! I'll get what we need from you, one way or another. You want me to talk? Get rid of her! Don't be ridiculous, Nebula! I have nothing to say to you. I'll make you talk! You know I can. Gamora? You need to leave. What? Now! If I hear screams, I'm not helping you. She never cared about us. The minute things get difficult, she'll be gone. You'll see. So, what's the deal with Tarval? It's not my story to tell. If you're so eager to know, you should ask Gamora. Star-Lord, the scan found something. A strange device in the cyborg's skull. These past few days... They've been the worst of my life. I lose my father. Then you show up and capture me and I'm forced to relive everything. Just leave me alone. I'm not trying to hurt you, Nebula. Doesn't matter, does it? You still did. But maybe there's a way to fix that. Oh, God. No, what are you- what are you doing? I know you won't take my word for it. So here, 
It'll tell you what you need to know. You owe me. Thanks, Nebula. I almost... I told myself I wasn't going to be that person anymore. She just gets under my skin. I can't help it. She's trying to get a rise out of you, Gamora. You can't let her. You try having her as a sister. I see you tried my plan. <sighs> the important thing is we got the, uh, the Kree thingy. So. Oh, that is a cipher module. There are not many left in existence. All right. So how does this work? I think I can upload this to my own translator. Okay, it says, come find me in the temple. Helpful. God, didn't we find it in a temple? My mom said the same thing when I died. But maybe we missed something. We were a little preoccupied at the time. Come find me. <sighs> Who do you think me is? That temple was completely abandoned when we showed up. Except for all the dead Nova Corps bodies that Thanos put there. It's... Gotta be... Whatever is... Sending me these visions. I hope you're right. Then we can find out why you're having them in the first place. Exactly. Let's get moving. We're going back to the temple. Rocket, we're almost there. I have not seen him emerge. Hang on, I'll call him. Hey, Rocket, we need you up here. I think you can handle a freaking temple without me. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Well, Rocket is in no shape to guard Nebula. Someone's got to stay back and keep an eye on her. I will stay behind to guard the prisoner. Um, hang on. No, you won't. I am not leaving him here with her. You heard him before. He wants to rip her apart. I did say that. She's my sister, Drax. Does this mean you're volunteering, Gamora? Yes, I'll guard her. No! You cannot be seriously considering this. You trusted me enough to take me to Hollis ship. Trust me now to watch over my sister. Nebula is my responsibility. Your record on that matter is questionable. Gamora, I need you to stay behind and keep an eye on Nebula. You'll be able to tell if she's gonna make a move. Absolutely. You... You side with her again, Peter Quill. Perhaps I truly have no purpose. Let us return to the temple. I will be ready when you are. I am Groot. Find me in the temple. Let's go find out who's waiting for us. <laughs> 